Well, many, many congratulations, Carlos. You really were on fire out here on this centre court. <laughs> You've successfully defended the Wimbledon title. How does it feel to have your hands back on this beautiful trophy? Well, uh, honestly, I'm. Uh, yeah, it, it is a dream for me uh, winning this this trophy. Uh, yeah, I think uh, an interview when I was uh, 12 or 11 years old, I said that my dream is uh, to win uh, Wimbledon. Uh, so I'm. I'm. Yeah. Uh, I'm repeating, you know, my uh, my dream. I'm uh, yeah, I want to to keep going, but uh, obviously it's a uh, it's a great feeling to to play in this court, in this beautiful court, uh, to leave this uh, amazing trophy. I'm, I'm gonna say, or I said it before, that the, for me this uh, the most beautiful tournament, the most beautiful court, and the, obviously the most beautiful trophy. <laughs> There was quite a bit of drama at the end of the match. 5-4, 40 love up, serving for the match with three match points. You got broken. What were you thinking at that point? <laughs> and how did you reset for the tie break? Well, uh, it was 40 uh, love, but uh, I, I was seeing so far away, uh, you know, Djokovic, Novak is... Uh, Unbelievable fighter. Uh, I I knew that the, he was going to to have uh, his chances again, so I had to to stay to stay there. I tried to to win the the, the point with uh, with the serve. It couldn't, but uh, uh, yeah, it was uh, it was difficult. It was difficult for me. I tried to to stay calm. I tried to stay positive on uh, that uh, that situation, going to to the tiebreak, uh, and and I tried to, to play my my best tennis. Uh, that's uh, all I was uh, thinking about. Really uh, glad that I, at the end, I could find uh, the, the solutions. Uh, I'm really happy to, uh, you know, to uh, be in, uh, in this in, in this situation and obviously uh, playing a great a great tiebreak. You certainly did that. Absolutely. <laughs> You're the sixth man in history in the Open era to do what we call the double, winning. Roland Garros on the clay courts and then here at Wimbledon on the grass courts. That's an extraordinary achievement to go on both surfaces. <laughs> just how do you do it? Well, uh, I think just uh, fighting, uh, believing. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's a huge honor for me to, to be part of, the, of those players who have achieved uh, Roland Garros and Wimbledon the same year. Really glad to, to be, uh, you know, in the same table as... Uh, Novak to, to do it, uh, huge champions just uh, did it. Uh, I'm not considering myself a champion yet, but uh, you know, I'm trying to... Uh, I don't think they agree. Not, 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 that's, not, 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 not that's them, but uh, I'm trying to, to keep going, to keep uh, you know, building my, my path, my, my journey. And, uh, but, but yeah, it's a, a huge honor for me. It certainly is. Now, dare I bring up the football? <laughs> Where are you going to be watching it? <laughs> oh, maybe I shouldn't have brought it up. Where are you going to be watching it and with who? Uh, well, uh, with uh, my team, for sure. Uh, I don't know where, where it's going to be, but uh, I, I watch it for sure. I, I've uh, already done my job, so let's see in the football. So. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's going to be a really, it's it's going to be a really difficult uh, match, I guess. Uh, I, I I'll watch it. Let's see how it's going to how it's going to win the the Euros Cup. Yes, and don't forget, there's the Champions Ball tonight as well. So you you know there's a tradition to dance with the ladies' singles champions, so Babora Krychikova. How are your dancing skills? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, could be better, I guess. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see tonight. But uh, I'll try to, to do my best. <laughs> well, okay. Yes. One thing, you know, I'm uh, I'm I, I'm so nervous. Uh, you know, doing this speech, uh, I forget to have uh, some words to Novak and, and his team. Uh, obviously, uh, has been a, a really difficult. Few weeks uh, for you. Uh, you guys uh, have done an unbelievable work uh, after the, the French Open, having surgery. Uh, you know, didn't know if uh, you are able to, to play this uh, this tournament that you love playing uh, and uh, making the final a really 
great uh, run. Uh, you know, feeling feeling great uh, physically has been uh, unbelievable. I, I was uh, talking to my team that there is uh, something uh, difficult to uh, to realize uh, that uh, just in in two weeks uh, after the George surgery, just uh, playing point sets uh, and playing matches in in this surface that is kind of tricky. Uh, so I have a huge respect for, for you, for your team. So uh, great, uh, great job and uh, keep, keep going. <laughs> and obviously, my team, uh, my team and family, uh, everyone uh, who are uh, up there uh, supporting uh, has been an amazing uh, four weeks. Because uh, I've been here uh, for four weeks uh, preparing this tournament, uh, you know, practicing hard just to, to be in a good shape, uh, to uh, feel that I have uh, chances to, to do a, a, a good result here. Uh, you know, all the support uh, every day, every week, uh, at home, in, in every tournament, traveling around the world, uh, being, uh, you know, so far away from, from your family and, you know, uh, Teaching me how life is going, uh, so it's uh, unbelievable to, to have you there and uh, still le learning for, uh, from you. So thank you very much, and uh, hopefully we are going to have uh, more, more times like this. Thank you. Well, that's all there is to it. We really wish you the best of luck. Congratulations, your Wimbledon 2024 champion, Carlos Alcaraz. Well, they've shared this court now for two finals, and Alcaraz has found the answer. A gracious runners-up speech, as you always expect from Novak Djokovic, and well done to the champion for remembering.